today's video, I wanted to talk about something that's been around since the inception of the Division One, even, and the anxiety that players feel about going into the dark zone, because the dark zone has always been controversial, and it's always been a place where people felt like it was unfair, but yet they wanted the exclusive gear in the dark zone and aren't really able to get it because they lack the skill. They don't have players to go in there with. They're get they're getting ganked by easy rogue squads that just go in there to do that and grief people specifically. So I think that this video is very important for players who feel like they don't want to do that. You don't want to go in the dark zone. You don't have to. I have plenty of builds where I've shown where you can go in a dark zone and dominate players, where you can go in a dark zone and be inconspicuous, where nobody even sees you. So you're like a ninja in the dark zone and you could just like farm in peace. I have builds where it does both at the same time. You could just check my channel. I'll, I'll actually link a few of them in this video, but I wanted to just show you a technique. It's pretty simple and it's actually a lot easier, a lot less anxiety. It allows you to get dark zone exclusive gear and I'm referring to the y'all gear that allows you to be inconspicuous in a dark zone. Now, like I said, I have plenty of builds. Like here's one of them, okay? and don't worry about the ravenous, okay? That's just, it was a placeholder because I recalibrated the capacitor. But this is just one of my builds. You could do this any kind of way you want to, and there's a few changes I want to make with this. But the point is, is that it's 100% immune from pulse. Okay, you see how it says 99.9? .9? That's immune from pulse. So nobody in the dark zone will be able to see me at all. This is if you want to go in the dark zone specifically. But this video is how to get the gear without even going in there, right? And the gear that you want is y'all, because y'all is what allows you to have that pulse resistance. The specializations, if you go to the specializations, you see that they already, no matter which one it is, they already have 40 or 50% pulse resistance. Every single one of them have this. So all you need is the gear set or brand set that will give you more pulse resistance in order for you to become immune. Then you just need to slot one mod in there. And so many of you just don't <laughs> just don't have y'all gear and it's really hard to get. You have to go in the dark zone to get it. So the way to do it is by opening conflict caches. Now, the reason I said that it's a lot less anxiety, of course, it's PvP, but it's not the same PvP as the dark zone. The DZ is just something different. All right. I get the reason why people don't want to go in there. But conflict, you'll get conflict caches, especially after this update. You'll get conflict caches just by playing conflict you can get bodied you don't even have to do well just for participating you'll get these conflict caches and as you saw at the beginning of this video i actually felt like i was going to get a y'all piece and i opened it up i'm like hold on let me record first so i can show them that this is working real time as soon as i opened up one conflict cache like this one right here i got a y'all chest piece y'all chest pieces are the hardest to get first of all and backpacks because you know they're the center point of your builds. So I got that. And when I uploaded a video the other day about the new vendor, the, the new textile vendor that we got, I was trying to purchase things, but I didn't have any space. It's because I had 20 conflict caches on me. So right there, I opened up all the conflict caches and I got a y'all piece there. I got some exotics. So nine times out of 10, you're going to get some y'all gear if you open up those conflict caches and it's been proven and this update has made conflict actually probably one of the best farming methods aside from countdown now countdown is certified for getting all the kind of gear that you want right but you're not going to get y'all gear in countdown period it's not even an option the only way to get y'all gear is to actually go into the dark zone and farm for yourself and the good thing about conflict it gives you more of a chance than the dark zone does because the dark zone they still have the expertise available for players so everybody who has expertise 22 or whatever their expertise level is they're still going to have that weapon damage or armor in the dark zone so most of the time you're going to be at a disadvantage but now with this new update conflict makes it so that everybody's on an even kill nobody has any expertise level it's all normalized so you have that you have people who are already in there with you playing so just like i said if you want to go and play conflict even if you're not a pv even if you're not a pvp player you should do it because y'all gear is something that you need if you want to go 
if you want to get the eagle bearer you have you'll have a chance to get your gear and create builds like this or other builds that have three pieces of y'all that allow you to be immune so that you don't even really have to be confrontational in the dark zone so this is for pve players who want to get a chance at going in the dark zone or just playing more another layer of the reason why you should go in the dark zone is because now you see the the three different dark zones one of them is invaded each week Two of them are not. The invaded dark zone is the one where, you know, people are going to be more rogue heavy because you have more leniency being rogue in the invaded dark zones as opposed to the uninvaded dark zones. It takes, what, five seconds for you to go rogue and you can't really change your builds. They're just restrictions they put on going rogue in the uninvaded dark zones. So you could farm this area. It's up to you. And also the rules apply the same in the dark zone as they do in conflict as far as pulse resistance. So you can put on a pulse resistance build in there. And it's even actually more devastating because you can literally go and flank the enemy around the map <laughs> and take them out. I've done it plenty of times because everybody pulses in conflict now. Now it's the era of pulse and pulse resistance. It's been ever since Flatline came out. It's never changed. And everybody uses pulse in order to get the tactical advantage on you and you're going to see a lot of other players who have pulse resistance builds as well so this is just going to give you a fighting chance i suggest that you go play conflict and just play it so you can get what you need you don't even have to be good you could just play and you'll get caches for participation because i tell you what i've played conflict many times and queued up with players on my team that are bad and we just get slaughtered but we still get conflict cache games. But anyways, I'm not going to keep rambling on. I hope this helped you out. And if it did, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Be right out.